Postal Service has been an important part of the United States since the Revolutionary War. Being able to communicate with others beyond the horizon was a key component in creating and maintaining a nation of freedom and liberty. The only limitations have always been struggles with transportation. The Postal Service frequently acted as leaders in trying new modes of transportation. The first government postal contract with a railroad company, for instance, came in 1832, only two years after the first steam locomotive company began in this country. The Postal Service also played a major role in getting good roads built throughout the nation, for without good roads, there could be no regular delivery of the mail. By the beginning of the 20th century, the U.S. Postal Service had instituted free delivery services in major cities, requiring standalone post offices to sort, organize, and distribute the mail for delivery. That service soon became available to farmers and others as the Rural Free Delivery, or RFD, system came into place. By the 1920s, even some smaller towns servicing those RFD routes required dedicated post offices rather than simply having the service operate out of another local business. By the end of the 1920s, the Postal Service operated more than 10,000 trains to move mail to virtually every city, town, and village in the United States. Whether people lived on a farm or in a town, the Postal Service rented them a mailbox at the post office or delivered their mail to them at their homes. The age had come where communication across the nation was much more rapid and assured than ever before.